Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. Today, we're finally heading back into some M7 runs. We haven't done M7 since I was level 390. It's been a good while, but uh, we have a lot of dungeons ahead of us. It's Mayor Paul. We finally got prepared. We got some coins in the bank, and it's time to use them on some chests and hopefully some good drops. So if you guys are excited to be back on the dungeon grind, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But without further ado, let's jump right into it. Super quickly, though, if you do find yourself checking on the high pixel store if there are any remaining uh fire sale skins we have the minor mole skin this one actually looks super cool for your brand new mole pets as well as the end golem skin we finally have a good pet skin for the golem pet and honestly this one is pretty sick i'll be picking up both these if you guys do find yourself checking on the high pixel store today for those though don't forget to use my career code on checkout this is code zach spelled just like my name z-a-c-h you type that on checkout and you will actually save five percent on your purchase it's a great way to support myself in the channel and you save a little bit of money when picking up some cool in-game cosmetics or booster cookies so yeah greatly appreciate it let me know if you guys are getting the skins in the comments down below and without further ado let's jump right into today's video so after three long days of waiting for my forge to finish up we did have our mammoth pet finish up uh yesterday however our mole pet is now also complete if we head over to the forger this thing took about three days in the forge roughly we still have our t-rex in here which has over four days left in time so that one's going to be a while but our mole pet, actually the only mining pet in the update, is actually down the forge, which is pretty cool. And actually, before I forget, I want to go ahead and start. I have two here. I should do another refined umber, I think. So let's go ahead and grab out three stacks of enchanted umber really quickly. Go ahead and start this in the forge, and that should be good for the night. But our mole pet is now complete. If we go to the hub, right off the bat, I want to grab a mining XP boost to slap on this thing. I think I need like 400k or something like that to buy one. Let's head over to Catch Shop really quickly and buy one from Zog. And then we can go ahead and put this on our mole pet. But if we go ahead and claim this thing, it should give us 15 more Skyblock XP, putting us up to 74 out of 100 towards level 424. And then if we go ahead and find it somewhere, there it is. This is probably, by the way, the most useful pet for us in the update. So this is going to be one I want to level up rather quickly uh mainly because all of its perks actually help with crystal nucleus runs um from increasing the chance of finding uh scavenge items in the mines of devon gain a percent chance for professor robot to ask for one less part and gain a percent chance to receive an extra drop when completing the crystal nucleus so actually all pretty useful and so i'm definitely gonna want to level that pet i might level the mammoth a little bit more before i swap over but yeah we have two of the brand new pets we can actually work towards leveling up now which is super nice first run back doing m7 and all my mods are broken like i didn't have uh, the dragon hit boxes my uh, terminal solvers weren't working it was honestly a mess it really was uh so i need to fix those real quick and then we'll hop into the next one but good first run of the day another run coming to an end here there we go uh yeah Maripol is great oh i've totally forgot we still have a blue dragon to take care of but there we go Easy peasy. You love to see it. And uh, honestly, just like survivability wise, I'm actually feeling like the HP from my level. Uh, not gonna lie. Last time we did M7, by the way, I was level 390. So it's been a little while. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been actually a good while. No way we're losing someone, bro. After two runs. After two, what's wrong with the 8 bear run? You know, 8 bear runs are solid, right? Right? Surely tragic another round of the books not gonna lie we had two people in the party die during terminal phase uh not sure how that even happens and in result someone left the party for it and for the record it wasn't me i was not one of them but uh yeah brutal Alrighty, we got a new party uh last one kind of fizzled out not gonna lie but this one seems pretty good uh, as long as i don't troll and hope brother what is going on <laughs> People just, bruh, bruh, we did what, it was a seven minute run, what, what do you guys want from me, what do you want from me, okay, my goodness, well, we need to go find someone else, bruh, <laughs> we got another run finished off, it was a little leggy near the end though, not gonna lie, but, uh, yeah, it was okay, I mean, we got it done, Soul Eater in the Wither Helm, Wither Catalyst, uh, ooh, someone hit Mage 45, good stuff, but, uh, yeah, we're on to the next one, honestly, very solid run, no one seems to have left yet, my goodness, okay, Sub seven, like people be leaving. I, I don't know. Like I, I'm not dying. I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to. But yeah, some people just, uh, I don't know. It, it's something. Dungeons is something else, man. I figured I'd walk you guys through a little bit of what my uh, boss fights look like. Basically, I get my two crystals as Berserker in the first phase. 
Run over to the red and blue TP pads. Clear out as many mobs as I can, obviously. And then make my way over for when the thunder strikes. It's pretty chill. Um, honestly, Berserker doesn't have like the craziest rolls during these phases. I'm also in charge of the yellow TP pad though. So I need to make sure I go get ready for that really quickly. Hop here. I swap my um, Bonzo staff to my movement like item, I guess you could say. Fail this jump, honestly, every single time, but it's chill. Oh, still a Shadow Assassin here. Kill the mobs that spawn. Wait for him to get crushed over there. And then when he's coming back over any second now, I just hit this. And it lagged. Okay, but hey, it still worked. Still worked. We kill it. Then I TP to the healer, which is where where is bro right now? I th I'm assuming. Okay, there's Simon Says. Okay, perfect. I always lose my orientation if the healer's not there quite yet. But yeah, I grab that. Hop down here. Sometimes grab this lever. It depends on if someone beats me there or not. Basically, just wait for the wall to break. Always get your terminals. But yeah, I'm in charge of that one, which is across from Simon Says. Then over here... Oh, I didn't get anywhere close to enough momentum off that jump. I'm also in charge of this terminal right here. Grab this. Beautiful. Grab the lever. Super boom the wall, even though it probably doesn't do anything because everyone else does it too. But I like doing it because it's, it's kind of satisfying. Wait for the door to break. Launch myself across here, up here. I'm in charge of this terminal. I like one thing I do like about M7 is that like each class is like responsible for like a different terminal, you know? Like there's like a method to the madness, I guess you could say, um, which I rather enjoy. But oh, that is not my Bonzo staff. Oops. Hop down here. I'm in charge of this one. Fiddle open. My goodness, we got a lot of these ones today. Grab that. Beautiful. And then sometimes I come over here and help with terms. I think Burrs actually is in charge of these terms. I've just never been officially told. So if you actually know, let me know. Am I actually always in charge of those levers? Because sometimes other people grab them. And so I never really know. Uh, but stand here. Kill Goldor really quickly. There we go. Hop my way back. Yeah, the, bo the boss fight's pretty chill for me as Burrs. I'm not going to lie. It's, uh, it's, on, it's on the more chill side. And then, yeah, land down here. Damage it until he makes us blind for a second. Oh, he is flying. Okay. Bonzo staff across. Land here. Use my, like, ultimate so that these little dudes help out a little bit. Always make sure you're left and right clicking so that you're using your soul flow and you just kill them faster. Sometimes if the party's really cracked, I don't use my soul flow, I'm going to be honest, because I'm on Iron Man, man. Uh, that stuff doesn't grow on trees, you know? So it is what it is, but basically just damage this guy until he's dead. Like so, TP to the healer. I'm in charge of the orange crystal. If, hello, there we go. Grab the orange crystal, slap it in the cauldron. And uh, now we just wait for us to see which drags we get. Dragons is definitely the one place though where I need like the most improvement. And it's mostly my damage. Uh, my damage just isn't really it in this area. And I think it's cause I need another term is it fatal tempo using the drag phase or is it duplex i don't even know all i know is it's it's probably not soul either and so that, that's kind of my biggest setback at the moment is damage during the um yeah the dragons because when we have to do our split i always struggle with the burrs team split because obviously like i am in charge of that and then uh yeah after that though the archer kind of just carries us for the rest but looks like we lost someone so we need to go find uh, another player a new mage actually that's a brother one to replace but yeah, let's go find a new member. All right. Oh, I'm not going to lie. I actually just trolled there. I thought I thought we were done with the dragons. We aren't even close. <laughs> what? We still do. Oops. Uh, that, that, that one's on me. That one is on me. My bad. My bad. But hey, now we are actually done. And let's see what we got for it. Uh, nothing in Bedrock. Obviously, we're going to be re-rolling all of these afterwards. My favorite time of the day, honestly, because uh, usually just means recom simulator, but I'm, I'm here for it. And let's hop into the next one. A party that's actually sticking together. Seven minute, 20 second run. I will take those all day long if this party allows me to, man. Please actually just stick around, guys. Please, I beg. Uh, one thing we are looking for, though, is Skeleton Lord. Am I looking for the leggings? I'm missing one piece of Skeleton Lord that I, uh, I do need for... What do I need it for? Uh, museum. I need it for museum. So hopefully we can maybe get lucky and get our hands on those. That would be honestly great. Let me grab this, actually. I always get scared that this bat's going to like disappear on me or something, though. 
Can you blame me? The bats, the way they disappear in this game, it's it's kind of ridiculous, you know? I actually need to keep tabs on these guys before they fly away somewhere, and all of a sudden, I just don't know where they are. But, um, yeah, I'm going to keep clearing and get through this run, and we'll be back in just a little bit in the boss fight. Alrighty, we have another run wrapping up. Oh, my goodness, I just got caught there. Someone's calling my phone, and uh, I ain't got time. I ain't got time. Okay, there we go. 300, though. Honestly, I thought that was going to be an S, not an S+. Plus. So, I will, I will happily take it, but... Um, yeah, nothing from this run. I need to go clear up my inventory, though, because this thing is stuffed. My goodness, look at this. Like, just the the random armor pieces from two runs. No skeleton lord in here, right? Who am I kidding? Of course there isn't. Tragic. Oh, someone got the claymore, bro? What? Oh, my goodness. GG's. That's insane. Alrighty, another run complete. Unfortunately, oh, it was a 300. Okay, we'll take it. Uh, Wither Cloak Sword, anything in Obsidian hiding? Uh, nothing yet. Hopefully our rerolls are a little bit luckier than the actual chest we're seeing. Someone got Shadow Warp, though. Hey, that's pretty huge. Those things are worth, like, what, 250 mil nowadays? I think someone said they need a little bit of downtime. I also did get a Skeleton Lord piece in that run, but it was the helmet, and I checked, and I need the boots. So not exactly what we're looking for, but... Hopefully the next one we get actually is. We'll have to wait and see. Alrighty, another run in the books. I think we're lo losing our tank, though. He said he had to go at some point during the run. And, ooh, recom. Wait. Uh, yeah, recom for 4.8 mil. I will take that. Don't mind if we do. Uh, not even going to re-roll it. Honestly, I've been using a lot of recoms recently. And uh, never hurts to have extras. So, there we go. I will take another one. And look at this. Look how many recoms we got. <laughs> okay, never mind. I still have a lot more than I thought. But, uh, yeah, what is that? 13 extra recoms? Hey, we'll need them at some point. Alrighty, we just have Purple Dragon left right over here. And we should be done with the run. There we go. Uh, yeah, not gonna lie. Somehow when I was standing on the pad, I got actually beamed and destroyed by Storm. I, I don't know how. Uh, I'm the reason why we don't have an S+. Plus, I'm gonna be honest. But, hey, someone else died too, okay? So, I, I didn't die twice. I died once. I'll admit to when I die. But, uh, yeah, looks like we're losing our art. Wait, who'd we lose? We just lost our tank. Man, he was here for one run. We gotta go find another one. Oh, someone got a shiny weather chest plate. That's actually kind of clean. Alrighty, we have another run wrapping up here. Uh, gotta make sure I get this red dragon. There we go. Beautiful. And, oh, we just have orange left. Come stand in this corner. 800 milliseconds, I start running. Okay, for some reason, just all ghost arrows, but we'll take it. Either way, uh, sub seven minute run. Not too shabby at all. Uh, nothing in this chest, nothing in bedrock. Ooh, someone got a chest plate. Nice. Uh, yeah, hold on. Nothing for us. We got to re-roll these, though, and see if we get anything, because surely there's something hiding behind one of these chests. Uh, this is the second time I haven't noticed my thunder bottle fill up. I need to, like, find a mod that actually, like, alerts me when this thing fills up, because it, just, it fills up way too quick, honestly. It really just does. Also, I have a lot of full thunder bottles. I didn't even realize. We can actually go ahead and put some of these onto our pulse ring and see how close we are to five mil we're, we're honestly getting there we really are so let's go ahead and slap these things on what 50k per yeah not amazing but uh eventually it'll, this thing will be fully filled and i'll be done with it but uh yeah m7 is by far the best way to fill thunder bottles i just need to actually pay attention to like how many runs it takes to fill these things up because I, I never know this when it's actually full, which is kind of brutal. But, hey, we're one uh, Thunder Bottle off of being at 4 million Thunder Stored. So, we are getting there. Uh, yeah, 1 million and 50,000 left. And then this thing ups its rarity one last time to Mythic. And we'll be done with uh, Thunder Bottles, which will be super nice. So, I'll probably still collect some, I'm going to be honest. I don't know why, but just a few. Um, just to have, I guess. That's kind of like the thing with Iron Man. You just need to hoard everything. So... Uh, yeah, why not, right? But something we can do, actually, before we, uh, well, something I want to do is open up and re-roll all these other chests that we got. So we opened up one bedrock chest already. So I'll go ahead and buy 11 uh, Kismets, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. There we go. That is a sizable amount of bits spent right there. But let's see if we can actually get lucky from our run today. So this one we opened the bedrock chest on. This one here, let's see if uh, let's see if we can get lucky. So starting with our first run of the day, uh, Wither Cloak, Precursor Gear, and a whole lot of nothing. Perfect. Good way to start off. Uh, we'll take the free chest. Second run of the day, there's a Fuming in here for 800k, which honestly I'll take if we don't get anything in Bedrock. Wither Helmet, it's not shiny, and a Hot Potato Book. Yeah, we'll take uh, Fuming and Altwise 1. Why not? 
Uh, third run of the day. Let's go and reroll this into Precursor Gear, Wither Blood, Infinite Quiver 7. Another fuming for Andrew K. Can't complain. Uh, Wither Catalyst. I don't think I really need those anymore. I'm going to buy some if there's like good prices on them, I guess. Soul Eater for 800k. Sure. Honestly, why not? Why not? Uh, yeah, I, man, Maripol's the best. Everything's just so much cheaper. Ooh, okay, Wither Blood and the Recom for 5.6. We will go ahead and grab that. Why Why not? And then let's reroll this one here into... I'm not paying 1.6 mil for a Soul Eater, though. That much I know. Let's grab this. I honestly probably don't even need Soul Eater books. I think I'm kind of trolling if I buy those, in all honesty, but... It is what it is. Uh, here, though, we have Wither Catalyst for 800k. Hard to pass on that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next run here. We have got Wither Cloak Sword, Wither Boots. Are they shiny? They are not. Yeah, we're good. We're taking a free chest. And, okay, we got three more to reroll. Wither Cloak, we can reroll this into Wither Boots that are not shiny. So, what's in here? Wisdom for 200k. I have a bunch of Wisdom books. We're good. Okay, second last run. Let's reroll this one into Wither Catalyst and Soul Eater for 1.6. And then Ultimate Wise 2, I will actually buy that. That That's actually kind of worth it. And then this last run we just did, Wither Catalyst for 1.6. Probably get a pass on that. Precursor Gear for 400k. I'm actually very low on Precursor Gears. I'll take that. Not bad. Honestly, not a bad haul. Uh, no crazy RNG drops, but, I mean, the Recom Collection is growing once again as well as uh restoring some of our fumings that we've been missing out on so yeah overall i'll take what we got so unfortunately that is gonna have to do it for today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy it also uh, i know this i'm putting this at the end of the video but just wanted to say thank you everyone for the birthday wishes in my discord you guys are great greatly appreciate it but uh yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video uh, i was gonna have some more footage for this one but i ended up mining red sand for like three hours last night instead of playing more dungeons again and so yeah you guys will see why i did that in tomorrow's video but man it was it was as boring as it sounds so hopefully you guys are excited for that don't forget to leave a like and subscribe use code zach when checking out for the remaining fire sales and uh without further ado i'll see you guys in the next one take care and peace out